Okay, guys, here we go. Two eight absolute value functions. Absolute value functions. So we're going to graph these. We're going to go through this relatively quickly. We're not going to spend a ton of time on this, but it's something that I do want to introduce you to. Okay? This is the general form for an absolute value function. The general form. Okay? This is unlike graphing lines. When you graph lines, you could make an xy chart. Okay? You could make an xy chart. You could pick anything you want there. You can't do that here. Okay? Absolute value graphs are v-shaped. And they either open up or down. If A is greater than 0, it opens up. And if A is less than 0, it opens down. Okay, so they open up, they look like this, V-shaped, they look like this. Okay. Absolute value functions. Now, because they're V-shaped, this point is really, really important. It's the most important point on all these graphs. When you graph a line, it's infinite amount of points. It really doesn't matter. There's no one point that's more important than the other. But when you're doing absolute value graphs and you want it to come out like a V, that point that's called your vertex is really important. Okay, Really important. Your vertex, the coordinates of your vertex, okay, is going to be H, K. So this is the form. Notice that it says X minus H. So whatever number is here, so if it says X minus 3, then the X coordinate of your vertex is 3. If it says X plus 5, then the X coordinate of your vertex is a negative 5. And we're going to do a few, so you'll see it. Okay? And then whatever's out here, that's just your Y. So the opposite of this is your X coordinate. That is your Y. Now, these are symmetrical. And what it, what it means when it says they're symmetrical is that the left is a mirror image of the right. Okay? So they're symmetrical. Best thing to do is just to, to dive right in. Okay? Dive right into a problem. And I'll show you how to do it. I'll do a couple. You do a couple. We move on. So let's say I had this. Y equals um, absolute value of X plus 2 minus 4. So I got to pick out my vertex. Now remember, it's always the opposite of this. So the opposite of a positive 2 is a negative 2 for my x. And then whatever's on the outside, that's my y. Now I want to pick a couple that are smaller and a couple that are bigger. And if I pick x values that are the same distance away from my vertex, the y values would be the same. And I'll show you what that means. So if I pick a negative 3 and I pick a negative 1, let's just use that as an example, okay? So if you plug a negative 1 in, I get negative 1 plus 2, that absolute value minus 4. Negative 1 plus 2 is 1, the absolute value of 1 is 1, 1 minus 4 is a negative 3. Let's watch what happens when I plug a negative 1 in. Absolute value, negative 1 plus 2 minus 4. Negative 1 plus 2, 1. Absolute value of 1 is 1. 1 minus 4 is a negative 3. So again, if you just like with quadratics, when you guys graph quadratics, if you pick points that are the same distance from your x coordinate of your vertex, your y coordinates will be the same. They'll be the same. Let's graph it, man. Let's graph it. Negative 2, negative 4. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. Right there. And then I have negative 3, negative 3, 1, negative 3. And there, V shaped. And that's all there is to it, guys. That's all there is to it. Okay? Not bad, right? Not bad. Let's do another. Thank you, sir. May I have another? y equals, let's put a negative out there. Let's, let's see what happens when we put a negative out there, okay? Well, I'm going to pick my vertex out, the opposite of that, which is 4, and then that's my y, whatever's out there, the y is easy, the x is the one that's unreasonable, okay? 
Okay, so I get 4, 1. Now, I gotta plug some values in. Again, I'm gonna pick 3 and I'm gonna pick 2 because they're the same distance away from that x coordinate of my vertex. So when I plug a 3 in, I'm gonna have negative, whoops, I put a 1, negative 3 minus 4 plus 1. 3 minus 4 is negative 1. The absolute value of negative 1 is 1. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0. Now, I like to put in another point just in case you made a mistake there. If you only pick one point on either side and you're not actually plugging in the other one, if you made a mistake, you never know. You would never know. So I'm going to pick 1 and I'm going to pick... Ah, that was wrong. What was that? What, what am I thinking? Let's go back. My mistake. Maybe you guys caught that. I hope some of you guys caught that. Let's go back. So this was 4 and this was 1. And I picked 3 and 2. They're both on the same side. I'd have to pick 3 and 5. Okay, so let's go do that. So when I plug a 3 in, 3 minus 4 is 1. Negative 1. Absolute value of negative 1 is 1. Make it negative. Negative 1. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0. 5. Ready? 5 minus 4 is 1. The absolute value of 1 is 1. Make it negative. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0. Now, this is where I want to pick one more. 6 and 2. Okay? I make mistakes, guys, just like you guys. 6. 6 minus 4. I want to take the opposite of that, and I want to add 1. 6 minus 4 is 2. Absolute value of 2 is 2. Negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. Makes sense. They're going down. Makes sense. Let's grab it. Let's grab it, party people. Four one. One, two, three, four, one. Bang. Four one. Three zero five zero. Three zero five zero. There is my absolute value graph. Okay? So we can't leave. We can't leave without you guys trying one of these. Okay, so I'll let you try one, I'll do it, and then that will be it for section two eight. Amen. Pause the video. <clears throat> pause the video, please. Pause the video. So you're done. So, plug a negative 5 in. Negative 5 plus 4. Negative 1. So I have the absolute value of negative 1 minus 6. Absolute value of negative 1 is 1. 1 minus 6 is negative 5. Let's plug in negative 6. Negative 6 plus 4 is a negative 2. Absolute value of negative 2 is 2. 2 minus 6 is a negative 3. All right, let's do it. So let's look. Negative 4, negative 6. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Negative 4, negative 6. Negative 3, negative 5. Negative 5, negative 5. 1, 2, 3. And we graph it. 
2.8 in the books. Hope it makes sense.